What's up guys and welcome to part 6 of tutorial series on AWS audio analysis. In the previous tutorial I have discussed the phase 2 architecture diagram and here we are going to create the resources uh, like uh, AWS lambda function, S3 bucket followed by setting up a trigger. So here is the architecture diagram. So right now in this tutorial we are going to create this, this lambda function and this S3 bucket and we are going to set the trigger uh, on this S3 bucket for this lambda function okay so we will get started with creation of IAM role correct so this lambda function will require access to an S3 bucket right to put the JSON file in the S3 bucket and it will also require access to a Amazon comprehend for uh, performing sentiment analysis so let's get started uh, by creating the IAM role. So navigate to the IAM management console. Click on roles and create role. So here we will select uh, Lambda as a service since we are going to create this role for the Lambda function. Permissions. So uh, within permissions, uh, we have to provide uh, two permissions. Uh, so one is um, execute. Let me search by that. So yes. So the uh, first is AWS Lambda execute, and the another is comprehend. So that is comprehend full access. And we will say next tags. I'll give a name. Comprehend Lambda Audio Analysis Review and we will name it as AWS Audio Analysis underscore Lambda underscore Comprehend and we will say create role. Now once the role is created uh, we will jump to the uh, S3 bucket creation okay. so the S3 bucket will be this one wherever JSON file uh, will be stored so we'll create a new bucket uh, we'll say AWS audio analysis and we'll say comprehend okay and create now we have this bucket created that is this one and we have the iam role created now we will go ahead and create the lambda function so navigate to the lambda management console and say create function give the function name so i will name it as aws audio analysis underscore comprehend select runtime as python 3.7 choose an existing role and select the role that we have just created so that is aws oh, I did a spelling mistake that should be audio not osseo but uh, let it be uh, aws audio analysis lambda comprehend and we will say create function Right now we have this function created and now we will set up the trigger. So where we are going to set up the trigger is on this bucket. Right? So this is the bucket that we have created I think in the part 4. Correct? Right? So part 4 of this tutorial series. So you can uh, find the link of that uh, tutorial in the video description. So the, the, the name of the bucket was that is AWS audio analysis transcribe file uh, again I'm sorry for the spelling mistake right so this is the bucket that we have created or, or let me uh, delete and uh, recreate it again just correcting the spelling or can we rename it no we can't so let me delete this Copy, paste, 
on the form and let me create the bucket with the correct spelling so that is transcribe file and I will say create so now we have this uh, bucket created so now we are going to set up the trigger uh, on the lambda function that we have just created so within the designer pane uh, under add trigger so we will select s3 and we will select the bucket name uh, that is aws audio analysis transcribe file correct and we will give the suffix as dot json so it will only trigger when the file with the extension dot json will be dropped or put in the bucket right so if we uh, go ahead and upload or put the dot txt file so it's not going to trigger this lambda function it will only trigger this lambda function uh, when there is a file with the extension dot uh, json okay and click on add and we'll say save okay uh, now we have uh, set up the trigger so i also wanted to uh, cover uh, catalog or the table creation in aws glue uh, but that i will pick later and it will be followed by the tutorial on overview of aws glue that is again uh, covered in this tutorial series itself i'm just making sure to take you through step by step and not uh, messing up things by introducing uh, uh, all the services at, at a single time so uh, well that's it for now so in in the next tutorial uh, i'm going to update this lambda function with the code for sentiment analysis and also um, we are so comprehend again has a limitation of 5000 uh, characters or 5000 bytes i believe right so that is again uh, something we are going to handle uh, in the next tutorial so that uh, in case if, if the uh, text uh, goes uh, or goes above 5000 characters then uh, we are going to uh, send the text in uh, in chunks correct so uh, that we'll see in the uh, next tutorial right so well that's it for now uh, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.